Hey guys, Hat here. Thanks again for all the questions. Me and my coworker had a great time answering them. It was a lot of fun. And we had a ton of extra footage left over that we thought was funny. So we decided we'd share it with you guys. So here is an extra little bonus video, questions and answers. Thanks again, everyone. Enjoy. Hi, everyone. I'm Hat. My name is Coworker. <laughs> this is my friend, Joe. I don't work with you anymore. Not anymore. We're ex-coworkers. We're working together right now. Yeah. This is, oh yeah, yeah. Collaboration. I mean, I'm not paying you. But, <laughs> but even, we're working. You even give work. me coffee. I'm sorry. I don't it's drink okay. coffee. I know. I oh, that's, do you drink coffee? And if not, why? <laughs> I don't drink coffee. I pretty much only drink water. I'm a very simple human being. That's, Joe. that's not totally true. You drink hot chocolate. Do you want to have kids? I don't know yet. I could barely take care of myself. I don't know how I could take care of so true. another human being. <laughs> why do people call you hat? Because I always have something on my mind. Yeah. If you were a household appliance, what would you be and fridge? What? <laughs> oh, it's probably supposed to say why. <laughs> if you were a household appliance, what would you be and fridge? Well, I would be a fridge because there's food in me. <laughs> Oh, it's good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Although not really, because I don't even eat that much. Is there food in your fridge right now? No, it's probably only water and like, maybe like honey mustard. <laughs> why, why honey mustard? Everything's good with honey mustard. How confident are you about your physique? I'm as confident about my physique as a nine-year-old girl is about hers. Because I have the physique of a <laughs> nine-year-old nine -year -old girl. girl. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, I think you have a little more chest hair. Do you keep anything under your hat? Oh, I don't know, coworker, you tell me. Whoa, it's a cynical on your head. Comedy. I feel naked when I'm not wearing my hat. Yeah. Or when I'm naked, like in other videos. <laughs> Click here to see me naked. You have naked videos? Yeah. Thanks for watching my, my content, Joe. <laughs> Tumblr wants to know, are you good at sex? Let's just say this, the last guy I had sex with, after we finished, he turned to me and he looked me right in the eyes and he said, that wasn't very good sex. So going on that, probably no, no I'm not no, good at sex. No. I feel like I'm just waiting for the right person for everything to kind of click. Um, I know you say person and not guy. Yeah. I'm just noticing that you're, you're being gender not specific and I, I wonder if there's okay. being- Okay, okay. I'm just waiting for the right animal to come along yeah. for everything to click sexually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone already thinks I'm a furry, so this is gonna like- <laughs> Why does everyone think you're a furry? So I wrote a song called The Otter Song and people don't know what otter means in, oh, right. in the gay community. Yeah, yeah. Describe an otter in the gay community. We're otters. It's somewhere between a twink and a bear. So you're not a furry. Well, I don't want to lose the rest of my followers. <laughs> so, <laughs> I am whatever people think I am. Did you say you're waiting for the right individual? Individual slash animal slash object. Ooh. You do have a very sexy refrigerator. I do put my meat in it and your honey mustard. <laughs> it is a squirt bottle. <laughs> would, you, would you date a fan? I don't see why not. Now you know. I don't understand this question, but somebody asks, Sherry Birkin or Ada Wong? I don't understand that question either, but seeing as how I'm a gay guy, I would probably add a Wong. There you go. To anything. Answer, add a Wong. Add a Wong to it. If you like it, then you better add a Wong to it. Is it pronounced Beyonce? Am I saying it Is right? Is it pronounced Tumblr? Yes. How do you say it with the E missing? Tumblr. Um, Facebook wants to know, have you ever fisted and what's it like? <laughs> uh, this uh, not me Facebook Ask that. All of Facebook. Good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might want to wash your hand. Ian from Facebook wants to know, if you could thank one person for something they did that changed your life, who would it be? I had... Two teachers when I was in high school, an uh, English teacher and a creative writing teacher. And they were kind of the first two people that really took interest in what I was doing. When I was writing and drawing. And they took the time to read my stuff and talk about it with me and encourage me to do it. And I'm very grateful for that. Mr. Kelly, Mr. Polster, thank you very much. I'm gay, by the way. <laughs> Mackenzie asks, are you an atheist? No, I'm not. Atheism's too boring for me. As it stands right now, I think we die and we wake up in this 
white room and there's a TV and you sit and you watch your whole life and it's like a best of. Whoa. So and if you had a particularly bad life, it's sort of like a punishment, but if you great life, it's a reward? Yeah, like my, my movie would be hilarious. Like it would be- There'd be a lot of people going like that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Keep talking about deep stuff. I like deep stuff, but not bottoming. Uh, <laughs> this is this is a picture of how much money I've made on YouTube <laughs> on YouTube so far. Seventy six cents. Thanks, everyone. Maybe this video will bring it to a dollar. Have you ever bottomed? I tried it maybe like once or twice. Would you say you're open to the experience? <laughs> Man, Joe, you should you should have a Tumblr. <laughs> You're funny. I want a talk show. We're just chatting on a couch <laughs> about bottoming and stuff.